The COVID-19 pandemic continues to affect the well-being and lifestyle of people all over the world. It is now known that pre-existing health conditions such as high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes can enhance the severity of the disease and people's susceptibility to infection. Curiously, however, relatively lower rates of infection and mortality have been registered in the Gulf states, where those very health conditions are extremely prevalent. A new study by researchers from Dasman Diabetes Institute in Kuwait suggests that variations in population-wide genetics could account for that disparity. The researchers compared genetic data for more than 1,300 individuals of Middle Eastern origin with those of people from Europe, East Asia, and Africa. They were looking for variations in three genes considered critical to infection by SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. These genes are referred to as ACE2, Temperus2, and Furin. ACE2 codes for a protein receptor that makes the entry of the coronavirus into human cells possible. Temperus2 and Furin code for proteins that facilitate that invasion. The team's analysis revealed that one variant of ACE2 that might enhance coronavirus infection was most prevalent among Europeans and significantly less common in individuals from Kuwait and Qatar. Frequencies of this variant appeared to correlate with the low mortality rates in the corresponding countries. A similar trend was observed for the furin gene. In this case, however, the team tracked a variant of furin that could possibly weaken coronavirus infection. That variant was most prevalent in Middle Eastern populations, indicating a lower risk of viral infection. Genetic variation data for the gene Temperus 2 were inconclusive. Overall, the ACE2 and furin variants detected in this study appear to have a protective effect against SARS-CoV-2 infection among Middle Eastern populations, individuals whose general health profile would suggest otherwise. Importantly, the study did not account for country-specific factors that could affect the data. These include the extent of viral testing, socioeconomical status and access to healthcare services, and the higher burden of other diseases. The findings do appear to deliver an important message. Patient genetics deserve a closer look to understand how the current pandemic might unfold in different populations and to deliver personalized care.